Pluto, the enigmatic dwarf planet drifting at the fringes of our solar system, continues to spark intense interest and curiosity. Despite being demoted from full planetary status, Pluto remains a subject of fascination for scientists and space enthusiasts. Recent reports suggesting a potential close encounter with Neptune have stirred the scientific community. Concerns about a possible collision between the two celestial bodies have prompted deeper investigation. Prominent scientists like Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku have expressed their views on this hypothetical event. While the idea of such a collision may sound far-fetched, it invites a closer look into the orbital mechanics that govern Pluto's path. It's not just about where Pluto is, it's about how it moves, how it has moved since its discovery in 1930, and how it will continue to move. Pluto's orbit is far from typical. Unlike the nearly circular orbits of the eight major planets, Pluto travels in a highly elliptical path. It takes 248 Earth years for Pluto to complete a single orbit around the Sun. Since its discovery, it still hasn't completed one full revolution. This shows just how far it is and how slow it moves compared to inner planets like Earth or Mars. Even more unusual is the 17 degrees tilt of Pluto's orbit. While most planetary orbits lie close to the ecliptic plane, the flat disk-shaped space where the planets orbit, Pluto veers off at a steep angle. This sharp incline adds complexity to its movements, raising questions about how it manages to avoid collisions with other objects, especially Neptune, whose orbit it crosses. For about 20 years of every 248-year cycle, Pluto is actually closer to the Sun than Neptune. That sounds dangerous. Two planetary orbits intersecting seems like a recipe for disaster. Yet, despite this orbital overlap, no crash has ever occurred. This baffling phenomenon is not just luck, it's due to precise gravitational balancing acts at work in the solar system. The answer lies in the concept of orbital resonance, specifically a 3 to 2 resonance between Neptune and Pluto. This means for every three orbits Neptune completes, Pluto completes exactly two. This synchronization prevents them from ever being at the same place at the same time. When Pluto nears the crossing point, Neptune is safely on the other side of the Sun. It's a cosmic dance choreographed by gravity. Astrophysicists explain this behavior through terms like libration, the kind of gravitational buffer that keeps Pluto oscillating in a safe zone. This motion ensures Pluto always stays at least 90 degrees away from Neptune whenever it's near the orbit crossing area. It may seem like Pluto is on a dangerous path, but space-time physics keeps things in balance. Still, there's an unpredictable side to Pluto's movement. Studies using mathematical simulations in the late 1980s showed that Pluto's orbit, while generally stable, is actually chaotic. This doesn't mean it's about to crash, but that small changes in its position or speed can cause major shifts over millions of years. This is the very essence of chaotic systems, where predictability has limits. Simulations of Pluto's behavior show that even a tiny deviation in its initial conditions, like its speed or direction, could eventually lead to vastly different orbits. Despite this chaos, Pluto's journey remains surprisingly steady over billions of years, a sign of hidden order in the midst of cosmic randomness. Neil deGrasse Tyson, well known for demoting Pluto to dwarf planet status, believes that this decision reflects scientific accuracy rather than disrespect. He views Pluto's irregular orbit as a tool for learning, not a defect. Tyson has said that Pluto's behavior teaches us about the complex gravitational interactions in our solar system, adding to the excitement of space exploration. He also points out that public fascination with Pluto's mysteries helps generate interest in space science. Events like Pluto's reclassification and the rumors of a Pluto-Neptune encounter ignite our imagination and encourage deeper thinking about our universe. 
Tyson sees these discussions as a way to engage society with science and discovery. Michio Kaku, another world-renowned physicist, approaches the topic from a theoretical physics perspective. He connects Pluto's motion to ideas in string theory, suggesting that events like a possible Pluto-Neptune collision could provide data to test the limits of our understanding of the universe. According to Kaku, collisions on a scale that large would produce gravitational waves, which might help us understand how spacetime behaves under extreme conditions. Kaku explains that the intense gravitational forces involved in such an impact could mirror the extreme environments that existed just after the Big Bang. Studying these forces could bring scientists closer to confirming theories that attempt to unify gravity with quantum mechanics, something that string theory aims to achieve. Though the potential Pluto-Neptune collision remains highly unlikely for the foreseeable future, just contemplating such a possibility reveals the hidden forces at work in our solar system. Understanding these dynamics isn't just about avoiding planetary crashes, it's about learning how the universe maintains its structure amid chaos. Even today, researchers run simulations to examine how Jupiter and Saturn, two of the solar system's largest bodies, impact Pluto's path. These gas giants exert strong gravitational poles, which influence not just Pluto but countless smaller objects in the Kuiper Belt. This intricate gravitational web creates stability, preventing cosmic collisions and maintaining order across billions of miles. Scientists believe that without these gravitational regulators, our solar system could spiral into disorder, with planets knocked out of orbit or flung into interstellar space. Pluto's case highlights how this balance is fragile yet resilient, shaped by invisible forces that we are still striving to understand. Space scientists also use Pluto's behavior to understand the potential for orbital resonances in other systems. For instance, the TRAPPIST-1 system, which contains seven Earth-sized exoplanets, shows a remarkable resonance chain. This could offer new clues into how planets form and remain stable over time. However, such systems are also susceptible to instability. If one planet in a resonant chain gets disturbed, the entire system can shift. The result could be orbital crossings, collisions, or even planets being ejected from their star's gravity altogether. This brings attention to roped planets, mysterious bodies that drift through space alone without orbiting a star. These planets may have been ejected from their systems due to violent interactions or close encounters with other stars. Some scientists believe that rogue planets may even outnumber stars in the galaxy. Although rare, there's a small possibility that a rogue planet could wander into our solar system. If that happened, the balance of planetary orbits could be disrupted, possibly pushing some objects into unstable paths. Thankfully, the odds of a direct collision are very slim, thanks to the vast distances between celestial bodies. In the case of Pluto and Neptune, while a collision is extremely improbable, studying their relationship helps scientists learn more about how planets survive in a chaotic universe. This understanding can be applied to the study of other planetary systems light years away. The three-body problem, which describes how three objects interact gravitationally, is at the heart of these studies. It's a puzzle that has confounded mathematicians for centuries, yet it's also a gateway to unlocking the motions of the cosmos. Even though we can't solve every part of it, simulations help us visualize and predict what might happen under certain conditions. Astrophysicists continue to stress that while Pluto's path seems chaotic, it's still governed by underlying rules. These rules, when better understood, could help us design safer spacecraft paths, predict the future of planetary systems, and even find habitable exoplanets by identifying stability zones. Some scientists have proposed that Pluto's complex orbit could serve as a training model for studying other bodies at the edges of the solar system, such as Sedna or the hypothetical Planet 9. These distant objects may also follow eccentric orbits, 
influenced by unseen forces or hidden planets. As our tools and models improve, scientists are developing more accurate ways to simulate celestial motion. Supercomputers now model millions of years of planetary movement, providing insight into how systems evolve. These advancements reveal not only the patterns in our own system but also clues about the formation of the universe itself. In the words of Neil deGrasse Tyson, the universe is under no obligation to make sense to you. Pluto proves that. It moves in a way that defies our expectations yet teaches us valuable lessons about stability and chaos. Michio Kaku adds that every celestial anomaly is an opportunity to peer deeper into the structure of space-time. Ultimately, Pluto's strange orbit is not a threat but a window into the workings of the cosmos. It reminds us that even in what seems like disorder, there is a higher order, one we are just beginning to understand. The more we study these fascinating celestial interactions, the closer we come to answering some of the biggest questions in physics and astronomy. Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.